There's been a few. I always go back to Berbatov. I think just when he came into Tottenham, he was already quite an established star at Leverkusen. Um, but obviously, Bale's gone on to four Champions League. Um, Modric has won a Ballon d'Or, but I think for the time sort of I spent with him is probably Berbatov. How good was his first touch? Yeah, everything, just really calm, laid back. Um, first touch was unbelievable, he's finishing. He never smashed at a ball, it was always sort of cultured and placed in the corners. But yeah, just a, a very good quality guy. Did he strike you as someone that would go on to be an actor? Um, he had that look about him, because he, <laughs> he, he wore That a, bad guy look, didn't yeah. he? Um, when the lads, we had quite a young team, everyone's wearing like tracksuits or jeans and hoodies every day, and he's coming in in like shirts, leather jackets, jeans, shoes, and he had that bit of, I don't know, like the Godfather yeah. films, that type of like look about him. Um, so yeah, it is a bit of a surprise, <laughs> but not too much of one. Have you seen any of his movies? No, I haven't, <laughs> seen, <laughs> I haven't seen any, I haven't got round to it. Going back to my first time round at Derby, we had Sent off coming from Coventry, Mo Konjic, who right. was like six foot four, six foot five Bosnian. Sent her off, massive, big, well, a few times, broken nose. Um, and he was the nicest guy in the world off the pitch, but on the pitch he would, I don't know, take kicks to the head, block balls wow. with his face and everything. He was just a real old school, old school centre back. And what was that like for you as a 16 year old coming up against a six foot six yeah. Bosnian at training? Yeah, it was just. I don't know, I was just obviously getting used to being in that environment as a full-time job, but as I say, off the pitch, you, you would think he was sort of five foot five and the nicest guy in the world. Uh, but on the pitch, he would just put his body on the line and not care for his own safety. We signed Robert Snodgrass, who is well documented yeah, to being a bit he of loves a, a prankster and a jokester. So he's unbelievable at different accents. So <laughs> yeah, he if, puts you've, them on. Yeah, if you've got any, worthwhile phone numbers, he's happy to take them off you and prank call them in front of the lads and he, everyone usually falls for it as Fenners did. Yeah. Hello. Hello, is that John? Speaking. Hi John, this is uh, Greg Murray here uh, from Scarborough. How are you? I'm good Greg, how are you? Yeah, I'm great, thanks. Sorry for the, uh, the inconvenience. Um, I'm actually um, giving you a call. Um, I'm opening a, a Greg's store, um, part of like a Costa Coffee um, on the side. Cause you're a Scarborough lad, uh, you can maybe um, open it for us. Is that, is that all right or? Not really sure. It's my back, mate. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> no, <laughs> Fenos. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing his head off. <laughs> I'll go for, because it's quite recent, Ben Hamer. He's gone back to Huddersfield now, but he was on loan at Derby last year with us. And he used to carry a rucksack, and I used to joke saying he had like a bowling ball in there, <laughs> but he had his own air dryer. What? But he was like, he would carry his own air dryer around with him. So every day he would be in the mirror doing his bonnet. And then I, I can't remember who it was. What so was what, so special about his hair dryer? I don't, no, they weren't one at the training ground. Oh, they didn't have one? No, but. You never heard of the training ground. It's a bit strange for a 30 year old man to be carrying one yeah. round him. But the lads took the fuse, like unscrewed it, took the fuse <laughs> out of it. <laughs> and he was lost for a couple of days, but then someone just left it in his locker, so he realised what was happening then. Adele Tarat, some of the things yeah. that he could do in training at Tottenham were like ridiculous. And then, them things he would do messing about in training, he was doing in games as, alongside scoring goals yeah. and winning matches. I think natural ability-wise, he's, he's got to be one of the, the best I've played with or been in the change room with. And you were playing with him at White Hart Lane when he did that filthy <laughs> nutmeg. Yeah. And Anthony Gardner puts his head in his hand, but you were there as well. Yeah, I was in the, obviously more, more central in the pitch and from the wider camera angle, I'm doing exactly the same as Gard <laughs> was. But yeah, just to do that, and they were the type of things he would do day to day, but to have the confidence, he was probably 18, 19 at the time, to come on in a Premier League game and tr even try that in your own half especially was showing the confidence and the ability that he did have. Rory Watson, he was a goalkeeper in the youth team up at Hull but when he travelled with the first team obviously 
had to do his initiation and he was, it's, you'll have to watch it on YouTube or something, his singing is unbelievable. Well, you done done mean, you bet I felt it. I tried to meet you, but you're so bad that I'm not sure about that to be back. And now I'm trying to get back. There was one with <laughs> Jake Livermore at Hull, which I always remember because he was fuming about it. He brought these like real expensive Chelsea boots, raining outside and whatever. Liam Racine has stuck them on to come out for the warm up. <laughs> so he, he's come jogging out. No. Obviously, a few of the lads knew what was happening, so they've like rolled the ball to him. He's like booting the ball in Jake's like, I don't know how much, but expensive. He's gonna be expensive. Um, yeah. Rosie going outside on a wet pitch and kicking a ball in Jake's like Chelsea boots was a yeah. bit, bit harsh. Martin Waggon was nicknamed Rob Beckett last year, <laughs> um, which I'm sure you can see the similarities. What's your nickname? Nothing special, just hoods or. And does that stick wherever you go? Because like if Martin Waggon now moved on from Derby to somewhere else, yeah, I think it'd be brave to go. What's your nickname? You go, Rob Beckett. Yeah. You'd be like... <laughs> Um, no, nah, I think coming through Derby at such a young age, it was always like Tommy. But obviously, if you're six foot three, six foot four, yeah. a big lad, Tommy's a bit like for a kid. <laughs> little kid, um, little Tommy. And then sort of when I went to Spurs, a few of the lads started saying hoods, and then that sort of sticks really. Oh, yeah. I've been known to be down the years with shin pads, boots, putting different tapes on touching the tunnel, doing a little routine before kickoff, um, but that's gradually, I'm weaning my way weaning off that way kind off of that. thing, yeah. Why um, is that? Back in the day, if I forgot one thing and then would misplace a pass or something, I'm like, oh, it's because I didn't do that and stuff. Machine pads yeah. in the um, room. But yeah, I think you get to an age where you probably realise it don't, as much as you like to do it in order, it don't really make. Yeah. But saying that, I can't, physically can't put a, a left, trainer on or anything before I put my right one on. You can't do that? Not fully, no. I don't, right. <laughs> I don't know. I like, I don't know, it just feels so unnatural. So, so is that I, the last step of weaning you off? It's like yeah, but that everything one might, else is done, but... That just, one could stay yeah. for a long time, I think. Even, say, slippers or something, I'll put my foot half in and then put the right one fully and then the left one follows So you sometimes you've caught yourself from going, I put that, whoa, no, I don't yeah. do that. Got to be the right one first. Even going down the stairs in your slippers. Yeah, bit strange, but. I've been in the 21s for a little bit of time with England, and then Theo Walcott's first training session, I remember, I think it was Greg Alford was doing a possession. He's got a ridiculously long throw in. Threw a ball, and Theo was just not even touching the floor, just like <laughs> just gliding. Gl gliding across Road the floor. Like, yeah. beep, beep. And I think Theo, uh, before he had his sort of knee injury, was like ridiculous, like sprinter quick. Obviously, w with Aaron or Kyle Walker, for example, they're rapid um, and very sharp as well. But I think with Theo, is is actually looked like sprinter speed as well. And how do you deal with these quick players when you're playing? <laughs> get the forearms out. <laughs> they get the forearm smash. Brilliant, Tom. Thank you much for your time, mate. No problem. And uh, that was teammates' gold with Tom Huddleston.